Because genocide was so effective, we're small in number, you know, less than 2% across the state of Minnesota, yet the disparities our communities experience are much greater than any other community. When violence is normalized, you don't know different. And so you really have to disrupt that pattern within the family as well. The Minnesota Indian Women's Resource Center addresses the harms caused by settler colonization through the loss of language, identity, and culture by providing wraparound, holistic, social-emotional support for American Indian women and their families. We're not working with a woman who's experienced a single rape and is coming to us to help work through that trauma and get the services. We're working with families where there have been multiple instances of violence against mom and grandma and great grandmother, as well as all the male relatives in the family too. So violence is almost normalized. And so the work we do is really to kind of unlearn that as a normal behavior, as well as kind of reintegrating culture and traditional values in the way they see the world and move forward. We don't screen people. We just welcome them as our relative and ask them what they need. We avoid sitting down with them and just going checklist question by question by question. 70% of my staff are Native American, and many of my staff have lived experiences. Um, were former clients of the agency decades ago and are now working as a case manager or even a receptionist. And that's kind of what sets us apart, but also makes our programming so powerful. It's ironic that innovative means new and, you know, kind of groundbreaking. What we do is grounded in ancient values and principles. Not because of, I guess, the services we provide, but the way in which we do them, or the, the mindset we have towards giving those services. That's what makes us innovative. For me, one life, it's immeasurable in its value. I can't imagine working in a corporate world where I cared about money. I care about people, and the agency cares about people, and that's what makes us so powerful. For many people, they look at the work we do from a deficit lens. But for me, I don't see the deficit. I see strength, and I see resilience. And even for our most vulnerable relatives who are struggling the hardest on the street, every day, they're still here as another opportunity that we can help them see hope, build community, have that other chance to have a better life. And I see so much beauty and positive in that. Thank you.